we should also think about justice in a broader sense um, that encapsulates things like the right to fair housing, good, decent housing, the right to health care, the right to a good education. I think that those kinds of concepts are very, very important. Our justice, after all, is the golden thread that links all of the SDGs. If you don't have access to good health care, where do you go? To actually, it's an injustice if you don't have it. If you don't have access to good education, it's an injustice. If you don't have access to means to solve, your pers to solve an issue around gender-based violence, for example, if you don't have a justice system that embeds that, that can resolve those issues, then the other SDGs are essentially futile. If you have a process where you can peacefully deal with grievances before they become violent conflicts, handle disputes, if you can uphold rights and set up pathways to more inclusion in the system, more people get what they deserve in terms of uh, entering the, being able to enter the policy arena and contest issues that are important to them, if they're able to access services and protections and support, and if there is an ability through the justice system to make institutions more accountable, then justice has really been the answer to a lot of the problems that we are facing, and yet it hasn't been fully recognized in that way. It hasn't been fully recognized as sort of the hard wiring of a society that is meant to provide the platform for achieving the SDGs. Now, with respect to poverty, I think that, you know, the fact that SDG 16 makes me empowered to know my rights, I understand what I deserve, I know I shouldn't be discriminated against, I know that I can claim my rights and I can challenge whatever discrimination I, I face. I think this is a vital step to escaping poverty because I'm empowered with the right knowledge to go to courts or to face, to, to trust the justice system to fight for me.